Florida men's basketball team is still alive and on to the Sweet 16. Here's another way to get active this summer, and what better way to do it than with Citadel head coach Kevin Higgins and his football staff. With the lockout over and the chaos of free agency, you can bet that these players were ready to get back to work on the field, but two former Florida Gators are taking to the streets for a different kind of workout. Switching to the diamond, the Citadel baseball team on the road Tuesday night, you'll find Dave sitting right here, row one, seat two. They were on the ropes against Brazil, but pulled off a dramatic come from behind win. Just hours ago, Tim Tebow was introduced as another quarterback on the New York Jets roster. So it's no surprise that during the summer when some athletes take it a little easy. After a march full of madness, number one Kentucky and number two Kansas square off tonight. Newly acquired running back Reggie Bush even putting it very simple on Twitter this morning, tweeting day one. What about that heartbreak on Saturday night? I'm here at Joseph P. Riley Park where the Citadel baseball team will be back in action against Akron. That'll do it for sports. I'm Melissa Egan. We'll be back right after this. Hustle, a six letter verb for center fielder Houston Armstrong. It's a way of life. Stokes out, Armstrong in, Houston has it. The big thing for me is, is have a purpose. And the purpose that I found is that if I sprint out the center field and I sprint back in, then the game takes care of itself. Um, you can't worry about it because baseball is known as the game of life. It's going to have its ups, it's going to have its downs. All you can do is keep running. Something that Houston started at a young age. Before I could even play in the league, I would walk down the street. My parents would tell me that I'd pick up rocks and throw it. I had the big bomb bat, and then I got into a YMCA T-ball league, and ever since then, I haven't stopped. Into right center, Armstrong a long run into the alley, and Houston is there. The turning point for me was when I went to Virginia Tech, and they told me I wouldn't be able to play D1 baseball. Well, Armstrong oh, wow. just lines this one. That was a crushing moment for me. And, and it's over the Gildan sign. That's his Great. first home run of his career. And I found out that not much later during my senior year that I got a, a full scholarship here academically to the Citadel. And I said, well, hey, why not? And the Bulldog has been hustling ever since. I came in knowing what hard work was, but I really didn't know what it was to to be able to push yourself. I found what I could do on the field. Um, I'm continuing to find that I can continue to push those limits. And as I went through the academics, uh, it was the same thing. So it's no surprise that during the summer when some athletes take it a little easy, Houston continued to work hard at this gym on James Island. CrossFit is a, a training platform we use. It utilizes a lot of different movements, uh, Olympic weightlifting, gymnastics, a lot of multi-joint movements to develop power and strength in athletes. We have all different types of athletes. We have people like Houston, who are collegiate baseball players. We have 63-year-old women. We have 15-year-old baseball players who are trying to get better um, as they grow and develop strength. And finally, after always being the little guy, Houston gained 10 pounds after the summer. I came back in the fall feeling phenomenal. Um, coaches said I looked better, said I ran faster, I had a little bit more pop. I was able to use my body a little bit better and I could feel it too. I, I felt the changes. Coach Jordan calls Houston the most improved player on the team and it's clear why. He is now at the number two spot in the batting lineup after starting at the bottom. Houston batting an average of 377 after ending last season at 202. It was really good just to hear the coaches say, well, we love the way you hustle, we love the way you work. He even hustled through his classes, graduating last weekend a year early One, three. with a degree in health, exercise, and sports science. And Houston says he doesn't plan on slowing down anytime soon. For Citadel Sports, I'm Melissa Egan. For Olympic swimmers, it's no surprise most of their time is spent in the pool perfecting their skills. But two former Florida Gators are taking to the streets for a different kind of workout. For Ryan Lochte and Connor Dwyer, Matt Delancey's non-traditional training is key as they prepare for the U.S. Olympic trials in June. What's so great about working with him is he finds different things to make you better. For Delancey, Lochte and Dwyer aren't swimmers when they step out of the pool. Categorize athletes in two categories, hunters and farmers. Hunters are athletes that need a lot of variety. You know, they get bored, so they need a ton of variety. Farmers are kids that need consistency. It doesn't matter which one you are as long as you know which one you are. Lochte, a hunter, and in Delancey's eyes, a rare breed from Florida. One in every seven or eight years, you get a kid like that, that combines that much talent with that much ability to work hard. He's always looking for an edge on his competition. So that's why he's not afraid to come out here and flip a tire, drag a chain, lift something awkward over his head. I mean, it's, for him it's all about his swim performance. 
Lochte has been training with Delancey for about 10 years, Dwyer around two and a half, dragging 525 pound chains giving them that edge on their competition. Well, whatever you do in training should be harder. A little bit more uncomfortable. A lot of athletes wonder like what we do and because it's not typically what swimmers do for lifting. So uh, yeah, they're asking what are we doing and some of it we keep a secret, some of it we'll, we'll tell them. What's no secret now is just how tough these workouts can be. <laughs> Work it up. I think we're going to have you do singles today. We'll do singles. That's all right. That's okay. It's brutal. Uh, he definitely knows how to push an athlete and I mean, he's a great coach. Uh, he's been there through my swimming career and he's just helped me get a lot stronger. And I wouldn't be the same athlete I, I am today if it wasn't with him. He's got his sunglasses on. He looks like the world's strongest man right now. <laughs> then he's looking good. He's, he's a hardworking, dedicated guy and he really likes uh, giving all his effort to his athletes. So he's a great coach. Locked and Dwyer just going through the pain to stand out in the pool of competition in June. For Gator Vision, I'm Melissa Egan. You know, they're a great program. They'll bounce back tomorrow. And with Pegler going, they're, they're probably uh, having an advantage. Uh, talking about the game tomorrow, it would be nice to get a three-game sweep over the Cougars before hitting the road for UNCG and then SOCON tournament. Well, no, no doubt about it. You know, we, we would like to accomplish that tomorrow, but we just need to focus on trying to win in the first inning. What does Austin Mace have to do tomorrow on the mound? Uh, what do you hope to see out of him? He's got to throw strikes, and, and uh, uh, then we got to play defense behind him. He's kind of been hard luck Harry, Harry out there the last couple weekends, and we got to play defense behind him. And senior day tomorrow for a couple of the guys, are you going to feel a little emotion out there? Yeah, it's you know every senior day is special to watch these guys come in as you know young young men and uh, leave as a grown man. We're very proud of all of them.